Christians have to stick together, you know? Besides, this book, How to Be a God Christian, was totally useless. Let's go. Work on my tan. Okay. What's going on here? What's the meaning of this? Where's the jailer? Why are you free of your cell? Whoa, whoa, shut up. Calm down. Take a chill pill. No, okay? stop. Don't, don't say anything more. Look, I made a promise to make you answer for your crimes, so you are going to get everything that's coming to you. You mocked me, you beat me, and you still mock me. Look, look, Shiloh, just, just listen for a second here, bro. We, we can work this out. You know, I'll have my on. bond, I will not hear you speak. I'll have my bond and therefore speak no more. I will not be made a soft and dull-eyed fool to shake the head, relent and sigh and yield to privileged intercessors. Follow not, I'll have no speaking. I will have my bond. Okay, bye! See you later! Who does he think he is? Somebody ought to teach that man a lesson. Oh, uh, leave him alone, Solanio. It's no good. He's, for some reason, dead set against me. He sees me as his sworn enemy. But, you know, I'm not responsible for his quality of life. That's his job, okay? He's a Jew. What do you think the judge will have to say about this? <laughs> oh, oh, there's nothing to worry about the judge, okay? He just has to make a show of entertaining this guy, okay? Plus, he's up for re-election soon, and this will make him seem like a man of the people, aka us Christians. So, he can't afford the profit. Don't worry, okay? Now, let's keep on chillaxing, okay? Work on IT. strongly in bearing thus the absence of your lord but if you knew to whom you show this honor how true a gentleman you send relief how dear a lover of my lord your husband i would know you would be prouder of the work than custom and merry bounty can enforce you i did repent for doing good nor shall now for in comparison that do converse and waste time together whose souls do bear an equal yoke of love there must be a like proportion of lineaments and manners and of spirit, which makes me think of this Antonio being the bosom lover of my lord, okay. must have needs like my lord. If it be so, how little is the cost that I have bestowed in perturing some semblance of my soul from out the state of hellish cruelty. This comes too near from the praising of myself, therefore no more of it. Here are other things. Lorenzo, I commit into your hands the husbandry and manage of my house until my lord's return. For my own part, I have unto forth a heaven breathed a secret vow to live in prayer and contemplation, only intend by Nerissa here, and until her husband and my lord's return. There's a monastery two miles off, and that's where we will abide. I do desire you not to deny this imposition, which lays my love and some necessity now lays upon you. Madam, with all my heart, I shall obey you in all fair commands. My people do already know my mind, and will acknowledge you and Jessica in place of Lord Bassanio and myself. So fare you well until we shall meet again. Fair thoughts and happy hours attend on you. I wish your ladyship all hearts content. I thank you for your wish, and am well pleased to wish it back on you. Fare you well, Jessica. Now, Balthazar, as I have ever found thee honest true, let me be thee still. Take this same letter and use all the endeavor of a man in speed to Padua. See thou render this into my cousin's hands, Dr. Bellario, and look what notes and garments he doth give thee. I bring them, pray thee, with imagined speed unto the tragic, unto the common ferry which trades into Venice. Waste no time in words, but get thee gone. I shall be there before thee. Madame, I go with all convenient speed. Come on, Marissa, I have work at hand that you yet not know of. We'll see your husbands before they think of us. Shall they see us? They shall, Marissa, but in such a habit that they think we are accomplished with what we lack. 
I'll hold thee any wager that when we are both countered like young men, I'll prove the prettier fellow of the two, and wear my dagger with a braver grace, and speak between a change of man and boy with a reed voice, and turn two mincy steps into a manly stride, and speak a phrase like a fine bragging youth, and tell quaint lies about how honorable ladies sought my love, and which I deny and they fell sick and die, which I cannot do withal. Then I'll repent and wish for all that I had not killed them. For twenty of these puny lies I shall tell, and that men shall swear that I have discontinued school about a twelve month. I have within my mind a thousand raw tricks of these bragging tracks, which I will practice. Why shall we turn to men? Fie, what a question is that if thou wert a lewd interpreter? But come, I'll tell thee all which whole device which I am in my coach was saved for us at the park gate. Therefore, haste away, we must measure twenty miles today. Yes, truly. For look you, the sins of the father are laid upon the children. Therefore, I promise. You, I fear you. I was always plain with you, and so now I speak my agitation of the matter. Therefore be, oh, good cheer. For truly I think you are damned. There is but one hope in that you can do any good, and that is but a kind of bastard hope neither. What hope is that, I pray thee? Mary, you may partly hope that your father got you not, and that you are not the Jew's daughter. That were a kind of bastard hope indeed. So the sins of my mother should be visited upon me. Truly, then I fear you are damned both by father and mother. Thus when I shun Scylla, your father, I fall into Charybdis, your mother. Well, you are gone both ways. I shall be saved by my husband. He has made me a Christian. Truly, the more to blame he. We were Christians enough before, even as many as could well live one by another. The, this making of Christians will raise the price of hogs. If we all grow to be pork eaters, we shall not shortly have a rasher on coals for money. I'll tell my husband, Lancelot, what you say. Here he comes. I shall grow jealous of you shortly, Lancelot, if you thus get my wife into corners. Nay, you need not fear us, Lorenzo. Lancelot and I are out. He tells me flatly there's no mercy for me in heaven because I am a Jew's daughter. And he says you are no good member of the commonwealth, for in converting Jews to Christians, you raise the price of pork. I shall answer that better to the commonwealth than you can, the getting up of the ne negro's belly. Is it, it is, oh the moors with child by you, Lancelot. It is much that the moor should be more than reason, if she be less than an honest woman. She is indeed more than I took her for. How every fool can play upon the word. I think the best grace of wit will shortly turn into silence and discourse grow commendable in none only but parents. Go in, Sirrah, bid them prepare for dinner. That is done, sir. They have all stomachs. Goodly ward, what a wit-snapper are you. Then bid them prepare dinner. That is done, sir, too. Only cover is the word. Will you cover then, sir? Not so, sir, neither. I know my duty. Yet more quarreling with occasion, wilt thou show the whole wealth of thy wit in an instant? I pray thee understand a plain man in his plain meaning. Go to thy fellows, bid them cover the table, serve in the meat, and we will come into dinner. For the table, sir, shall be served in. For the meat, sir, it shall be covered. For coming in to dinner, sir, why, let it be as humors and conceits shall govern. O oh, dear discretion, how his words are suited. The fool hath planted in his memory an army of good words, and I do know of many fools that stand in better place, garnished like him, that for a tricksy word, defy the matter. How shearest thou, Jessica? And now, good sweet, say thy opinion. How dost thou like the Lord Bassanio's wife? Past all expressing, it is very meet that the Lord Bassanio live an upright life, for having such a blessing in his lady, he finds the joys of heaven here on earth. And if on earth he do not merit it, in reason, he should never come to heaven. Why, if two gods should play some heavenly match, and on the wager lay two earthly women, and Portia won, there must be something else pawned with the other, for the poor rude world hath not her fellow. Even such a husband hast thou of me, as she is for a wife. Nay, but ask my opinion too of that. I will, Anon. First, let us go to dinner. Nay, let me praise you while I have a stomach. No, pray thee, let it serve for table talk. Then how summer thou speakest, among other things, I shall digest it. Well, I'll set you forth. <laughs>